You've got questions? She's got answers. It's Ask Nurse Lisa. Hello and welcome to your appointment. You're right on time. My name is Nurse Lisa and this is another edition of Ask Nurse Lisa. This week we have a really great viewer question of the week, so let's get right to it. Dean, take it away. Hey, uh, Nurse Lisa. It's, uh, it's Dean. Um, I'm one of those people that have uh, an addictive personality, meaning uh, when I find something I like, I kind of hook on to it and sometimes I have a problem not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So the question is, how do I stop or do I even need to stop? Like, is it going to hurt me? What? Oh! What is it? Well, recently I've figured out, i found out, that I really, really, really like raisins. Raisins! possible to have too much raisins and if it is and you do have too much raisins what happens that's a really great question Dean we have a lot to talk about on this show the first thing I want to address is what is an addictive personality some researchers consider the concept of an addictive personality to be controversial. Others say it is created from addictions itself. We need to really talk about psychological addictions and physiological addictions. Physiological addictions are to certain substances such as to heroin, cocaine, alcohol, and nicotine. And of course there are lots of scientific breakthroughs that have occurred during my lifetime and recently to help people with the physiological addictions that they may have to those substances. But then you are left with dealing with psychological addictions and that is sort of a completely different story. First thing I want to talk about is treatments and treatment options. Obviously, there are treatments for the physiological addictions that we can have, but what about the psychological addictions? Well, in reality, it's very hard to precisely measure the success of those programs that treat people for addictions because there's just no way to really keep good track of what is going on with the patients, even through extensive follow-up efforts. So, my suggestion is to focus on the key principles of success. There are six key principles which must be addressed when you're talking about change. Principle number one, having the belief that you can change. Principle number two, what treatment option that is chosen is not as important as the person's commitment to change and the entire process. Number three, the duration of the treatment is not as important as the treatment's ability to inspire progress in changing the behavior. Number four, life skills must be addressed and must be taught if the person does not have life skills that they need. Number five, repeated efforts at battling addiction are very common, so the most important issue is follow-up care 
It is all just part of the process. Number six, improvement in behavior in the absence of complete abstinence should be rewarded and recognized. This is called harm reduction and it has become quite successful. Now, regarding your other question about eating too much fruit, specifically raisins. Well, fruit contains fructose, which is a simple sugar. It's only more complex than a glucose molecule. So, it can interfere with insulin, glucagon, growth hormone, things like that, and can lead to things like diabetes and other chronic illness. Number two, it can cause tooth decay. Raisins are almost as bad as candy for sticking to the teeth and being full of sugar and promoting tooth decay. Number three, too much fruit of any kind can sometimes lead to diarrhea. Not a very pleasant subject. So, it's important to realize that anything that you do eat, anything you can do too much. You can eat too many carrots. You can drink too much water. You can actually kill yourself drinking too much water by upsetting the balance of your electrolytes in your system, therefore causing heart attacks. So it's best to remember that moderation is always the key. If you have a question for Nurse Lisa, you can send it to asknurselisa at yahoo.com. The questions I've been getting have been great. I thank you for appearing on the show and being on the show. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope that these shows have been informative and helpful. So, till next week, this is Nurse Lisa saying, be happy, be healthy. What the heck are you looking at?